Let's continue our conversation on the topic of intestinal metaplasia. It's video number three. I just finished two, number two video and people started to write to me. I decided to do this one really quickly because person writes to me. He just went for endoscopy and biopsy was done. Results, focal complete metaplasia. But what is important is he's saying that he afraid that it will convert to cancer. But it seems that he, his gastroenterologist is not concerned at all. He didn't even schedule uh, next um, uh, endoscopy with biopsy and didn't prescribe any treatment. And I will tell you, there is probably a reason for that. And reason number one is because it's focal and complete. But let's go and talk a little bit more about metaplasia. At this time, it's not even clear that complete intestinal metaplasia gets converted into cancer. There is actually research a little bit on this topic that it may prevent uh, uh, cancer. On the other hand, incomplete metaplasia is the next step of metaplasia and it's maybe a, a, a little bit higher chance conversion into a gastric cancer. However, conversion is a, a very small number of people when convert uh, intestinal metaplasia to cancer between 0.25 to 2.5 percent. So if the whole, you know, people who have metaplasia, only 3 percent will convert into cancer. So it's not a high percent. Now, the conversion doesn't happen immediately. The, there is a called latency period, about six years. So if person has incomplete metaplasia, Gastros gastroscopy with biopsy is going to be scheduled within three years. Now, in the previous video, I talked about there is kind of okay metaplasia and not okay. So okay is focal complete that located in the antrum or laser curvature and the one that is worse is extensive, incomplete and in the body of the stomach. There are also risk factors such as age, male, uh, years of pain, family history of stomach cancer. So here there are how severe irritant is, how many irritants, how long the issue, uh, if it's one year or is it 10 years? 10 years obviously is worse. Genetic predisposition of uh, cancer or Lynch syndrome, acid reflux, bile reflux, H. pylori, we know definitely will get um, contribute to uh, intestinal metaplasia, smoking, alcohol, environmental pollution, also inflammation in the digestive tract, such IBS, IBD, and constipation contributes to uh, metaplasia and to the conversion to cancer. So, incomplete metaplasia is usually scheduled within one to three years. Why is that one or three? Okay, it will be definitely scheduled within three, but why could be scheduled early? Because when gastroenterologists ask you questions, he asks all of this and he looks, is there H. pylori? Yes or no? So what I suggest, if you're watching this video, pause at this moment and write for yourself. Do I have irritants? How many of them? How long I have these issues? Do I have family history? Bile reflux, acid reflux. What else do I have? And make a check. The more you have, the worse it is. Okay? So you will be scheduled not only on year three, if you have a genetic predisposition, you may be scheduled even earlier on year one. So all of those factors matter. Now, back to this uh, first, uh, first person has focal complete metaplasia and probably no other risk factors. That's why your gastroenterologist was not concerned at all. So the plan for you would be maybe maybe in three years, maybe never, okay? If you don't have a clinical symptoms, there is no indication to schedule for, for three years. I just want to say one word. By the way, that was my uh, contact information here. All physicians rely on the information from National Institute of Health. It's double-blind, placebo-controlled, independent study, uh, does independent study, or pull the studies together. Unfortunately, we elected a bun bunch of Nincom poops, and this one works assiduously to uh, eliminate funding to uh, National Institute of Health, and particular to um, a cancer research. And it's true, I already uh, see uh, less and less 
articles that are talking about an incomplete intestinal metaplasia conversion into cancer. So it will put us way behind like years. The, the consequences of all of that is just going to be not very good. But anyway, what can we do, right? So guys, um, if you have any questions, ask me here. All relevant information in the description under the video. Like, subscribe, bye-bye for now.